Muhammad Ali. I don't know if, if you actually remember 20 years ago at Notre Dame, 20 something years ago, you came out to the bingo bouts, you were the master of ceremonies, you talked to a uh, young white heavyweight, and his name was Dan Quinn. And if you remember anything he said, he thought it was bullshit that I was fighting to feed the poor in another country, okay? When there was poor right down the street in South Bend, I'd seen them, all right? They needed help, and uh, you know what? I knew our country was always fucking helping everybody else. I mean, it's like the thing to do. And you know what? Uh, how do I say this to you? You're my hero. If I could come back as any one athlete, any one person, okay, it'd be you. People don't realize you're the finest boxer to ever walk the face of the earth, the best athlete that ever, ever was in the heavyweight division by far. Uh, you gave up four of your best years, of your very best, and you still came back and gave us more. And you gave it up because it was uh, worth something, okay? It was, uh, it was a cause that was worth giving up your almost your life for, okay? And you did in a way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you didn't die, but, oh, a lot of boxing fans did, okay? You know, they were going miserable crazy without you. And uh, here I am today telling you that I am going to uh, save the world and end slavery forever. Actually erase the bullshit Emancipation Proclamation that just uh, loosed slaves into economic poverty, into uh, economic slavery. Okay, it was the same thing, just, uh, you know, they had more uh, freedom to do themselves in because you don't really have much of a hope in a ghetto, okay, you feel me? And, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is pretend to be you, sir. I am, <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, Stevia, no bullshit, has given me the ability to be faster than I was when I was, uh, 21 years old, man. I'm faster running, okay, and punching than I was when I was 21. And if I snort stevia and lace marijuana and then uh, smoke it, I can actually give 110% effort at every second pretty much of every fucking round uh, for four rounds I went the other day, okay, before I had surgery. And you know what? Uh, it was told to me, sir, that my punches vanished sometimes they were so fucking fast and you know what you actually told me at the end of that fight that you were glad you retired when you did because uh athletes were getting bigger okay faster stronger and i thought oh man shucks you know what you're the greatest and wouldn't it be fantastic if someone actually uh gave a fuck started paying this forward passing it on okay so it can make a difference stevia is going to set your people free, sir, and it's going to happen like this. This is the dynamics. I can make liquid from the fountain of youth, water, okay? I mean, you look at water that's toxic, and you look at pure H2O, and it looks the same until you blend it, and then a uh, water that's bad has a ton of soap floating at the air variant, okay? And the pure, it just goes down, no soap. And that pure stuff is doing some amazing things, Mohammed. Yeah, it's giving me the ability to uh, be faster than I was at 21, go 110%. Uh, basically, I'll be able to take my brain, okay, 20 years of fighting experience, and plug it in to uh, that youngster's body, okay? Only he has a couple more wrinkles. And I'm going to fuck people up, okay? Actually, the first couple times that I unleash, I'm going to be savage, man, okay? I'm going to make a statement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, people, people when they see, man, uh, it's like this. If a guy just is in there slugging it out, okay, and uh, no takedowns, no kicks, just hands, and uh, you got a punch, man, uh, and, uh, you know, six-ounce gloves, they can cut. Well, know this. I bet you that I could actually go through uh, several guys that really didn't have all that much experience this <laughs> shit because uh, if I get cut man I'm not fucking stopping um excuse the language you know uh yeah I'll continue until the job's done and uh 
I'll have super glue in my corner. And hopefully, I'll have Danifer. And you know what? Uh, good thing that Pure H2O is making my shoulder come back in record fucking speed. Because the doctor said six months. Okay? It's been 40 days. And you know what? I've already gotten all this range back. And uh, it's going to get better dramatically. Okay? And I'm calling two, three months that I'll be throwing punches. And it goes like this. Uh, Muhammad. Don't you think it'd be kind of peculiar if a 41-year-old uh, white male who uh, just got done eating an entire bag of uh, tortillas, Quaker, cheesy nacho, because uh, he just smoked weed and got the hankering for it and couldn't fucking stop. Bam! Polish old bag. Does shit like that all the time. And uh, still lean and fairly ripply, even though he's not working out. And when he comes back, he's going to dust people the fuck up, okay? I won't really put it like this. I'm going to get in uh, shape. Yeah, I'm going to get in shape, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these motherfuckers fly, okay? And I'm going to shut people down, man. It's going to be the damnedest thing, all right? And the people out there are going to be seeing this shit, okay? And they're going to be like, whoa, that motherfucker is off the hook, okay? How about this? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Have you seen that shit? Steve, no Sacramento chapter of the Vagos, homeboy. Did or did I not fucking... Tell you what, people are looking at me, they're going, what the fuck, you know, they're staring. Imagine me, literally, I'll tell you what, San Diego High School, Dan Quinn is faster than he was when he was a senior in high school, okay? And uh, he's faster than he was when he knocked those five guys out of Juanita. So, Mike Carts, uh, I kid you not, man, I never liked you. I always thought you were a punk. Remember that time, uh, my senior year, when you were fucking around? and trying to play that guy in front of Pete Carroll and I told you to your fucking chest that you didn't fucking scare me that I thought you were a punk that I didn't like your fucking brother either okay and that you know what I was the captain of this fucking team and you were just a fucking goddamn scrub bullshit assistant coach and if you fuck with me I would kick your fucking ass in front of everybody on the team motherfucker didn't I say it just like that bitch and get away with it and then, fucking what? Two years later, you sent your little crew to Anita's, man. And I dusted them all off. I wonder what the fuck they said when they woke up, man. I'll tell you what. I'll make movies about that, bitch. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be famous, Dave Chappelle. No shit. I'll tell you what, brother. I always liked you, man. And uh, I always thought if I had billions, what I'd do is try to set an example for all the uh, millionaires that have enough okay and uh, could afford to pass it around a little bit you know spread it around so other people had enough to eat and shit and uh, you know what um, all I'm saying is that uh, there's gonna be a new sheriff in town when uh, Stevia turning water into a healthy fucking fuel actually gets famous and I'll tell you what Russ for no I kid you not I'll tell you what this is not gonna be fire and brimstone the entire way through, okay, it is mandated, as it was handed down, uh, that's about good, okay, but what I'm allowed to do is to uh, use a couple of fucking examples out there, and to uh, legally make an attempt to murder you, as an example to everybody else of what the fuck I can and cannot do uh, if I get a hankering for it. And one of the things that I'm going to get a hankering for is uh, taking care of women and children, okay? Uh, they need it badly, okay? There's a lot of asshole men out there that have come up it's coming to them. And uh, what I'm thinking, uh, Jason Mayhem Miller, if I put an 800 number out there and it's for uh, victims of uh, stuff that you can't actually put on your show, because that's more like the cops and who's going to prison. What I'm going to do is uh, write a book, okay, that will give me a cover so other people have this idea. And I'm going to have little teams go out and clean up a couple pieces of garbage, make it on video, make everybody talking about it the next fucking day like, holy shit, did you see that shit? And then guys that had the same fucking idea in their heads, oh, they'll be like, oh, Fuck no, okay, uh-uh, you know what, I was thinking about raping that girl, but 
when I saw what happened to that motherfucker on TV, okay, when they were beep and beep and beep, and you know what? It's like this. Fill it with anything, because if I was a billionaire, all I'd have to do is maybe uh, have an alibi, and now I put it out there that guys that do things to women and kids, okay, and they think they're getting away with it, I'll tell you what, motherfuckers, what I'm going to do is uh, use my mind and money and make legal examples, and you know what, oh my goodness, I bet you what happens is that uh, good shit starts to fucking happen, and it starts to spread, for real, little game shows, paying people, okay, for doing good deeds, it wouldn't be hard to teach people how to be nice, it really wouldn't, okay, all it would take is a little money, and uh, you know what, wanting to do good deeds, 